Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a full moon reading. So, I think it's a Libra. I think it's a Libra full moon, um, April 7th. So, let's just see what comes up. Okay, well, let's just see what comes up for the full moon, April 7th. What do we have? Gotta take it. Ooh, new beginnings. Worldwide. Worldwide, okay? Worldwide new beginnings. This is starting from scratch, starting over. Zero. Uh, zero is the very, 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 very beginning. It's not number one. You are starting a new chapter. You are starting a new journey. You are stepping into new territory. You are starting a new life. This is exciting. This is exciting. It may be a little... Uh, maybe you didn't ask for it. You didn't ask for this new beginning. But here it is. Here it is. Looks like you're not taking very much with you. This is a brand new start. Um... Going your own way. This is this is this is a very independent situation. Okay, this is a new life for you. Okay, uh, you probably don't have any experience. Okay, this is this is doing something that you have never done before. Okay, this is starting from scratch, starting from zero, starting on a new journey. You've never done this before. So this is brand new, okay? You're not at number nine. You're not at number eight. This is brand new. So this is a brand new start at something. You have never, ever done this before. You know, you're ready. You're ready for it. You may you may have been pushed into it though. Maybe you were pushed into it. Maybe you were you were you were pushed into this spot. And you weren't you didn't want to. Maybe you had some sort of fear or you were stuck in a situation that you know was holding you back and you didn't know what to do and something happened. It's probably this worldwide epidemic. You see the world there. Something has happened which has given you an opportunity to start something new. And when with the Fool card, this is where you don't take what you left behind with you. Okay? That's not coming with you on this next chapter, this new journey. Whatever, ha whatever is that you left behind is behind. Okay? That's behind. It's behind. So let's get one card, please. Now that's on top of the world. Take a, I mean, that is on top of the world. Yes, you're going to be on top of the world. You are going to be on top of the world with this change. Even though I think it was scary at first. Once you take those steps, you're going to get excited. Okay, once you take those steps, you, you, the excitement is going to build. It's going to build. And before you know it, you're going to be running. Okay, you're going to be happy with this change. So... Okay. One card, please. Energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will posi positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So something about exchanging energy with others. Make sure that it's positive energy. So there will be an energy shift. There is. There's going to be an energy shift. They're clearing, unfortunately, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but it's a fact and it's the truth. There is going to be an energy shift because all of the, uh, you know, it's going to be replaced with a more positive, stronger energy. I'm sorry, but that is the truth, okay? 
Um, there's definitely going to be an energy shift. King of Cups. King of Cups is a very feeling energy. Somebody that is very uh, loving, very kind, very caring. Somebody that has a very big heart. Making a heartfelt gesture. This is definitely kindness. This is giving love. And this is about giving love. So this is a more loving energy. Mmm. Tower reversed. Now, there may have been a loss, and maybe it was a permanent loss. Somebody's foundation was shaken, right? It was shaken. It was. It's, it's clear that it was. They were pushed. They were pushed out. They were pushed out of this false foundation, this false situation that wasn't stable, that wasn't secure, that was based on false pretenses. They were definitely pushed, you know, shoved. I feel like they were shoved. I think it was extremely painful. I think that um, it was unstable. You never saw it coming. You never saw it coming. So somebody was pushed out of a situation that they had built up. But they built it under some sort of false pretenses. They didn't build it, build it in the right manner. They didn't, they didn't do it right, okay? When you don't do things the right way, when you do things in an unjust manner, or you do things that aren't based out of love, or if you do it out of ego, or whatever the case is, this is a universe card. There's two main universe cards. One is the world and one is the tower. The universe sees all. And the universe will change you, and the only way you change is by uproar, by chaos, by, you know, things that happen, unpredictable things, okay, things that are shocking. Uh, usually a shocking experience or something that you didn't see coming is what changes your perception. It changes you, it builds your character, it changes your energy, okay? So I feel as though this disruption that we have experienced is uh, opening somebody's heart. If you think about the Grinch, it's that same kind of story, okay? Where somebody's heart is growing, okay? Because it's something about feelings. It's, it's something about feelings here. Somebody is, is starting to feel differently. They're starting to feel differently. They involve themselves in something uh, based on false pretenses, and they may have experienced an extreme uh, disaster or uproar or chaos or breakdown or disruption or something has happened in their life that has changed their energy, okay? It's changed them, okay? So we do have a major life change here that was definitely painful. It was definitely painful, but this had to happen to get this person to uh, feel differently, you know, to, to react out of their heart instead of falseness, because this is falseness and this is heart. So this there had to be this shift. There had to be this breakdown. There, this disaster had to happen, unfortunately, to get this person to, you know, follow their heart or open their heart or use their heart or whatever the case is. And this false sense of security had to crumble. It had to. It had to. It wasn't stable. And this could be somebody's body. Okay, this is a this is a foundation. And a body is a foundation. So I don't know if it's somebody's, you know, vehicle or their business or their relationship or their health or whatever it is. This is an, an extremely disruptive situation that changes a person. So somebody has experienced a huge uh, event uh, that was drastic, and now they are starting in, on a new chapter, okay? Now that this has crumbled, this has crashed, it's, this breakdown has happened, it's time to start over someplace else.
it definitely this this kind of situation where uh things fall apart and they fall apart really really fast and you can't avoid it there's nothing you can do the universe made it happen and you never saw it coming will definitely put a person in a time of thought Okay, this will make a person think about love. And that is exactly what has happened. They're thinking about happiness. They're thinking about something that they lost. Or they're thinking about a missed opportunity. We, we definitely have somebody here that has experienced a major life change that they, you know, couldn't avoid. Which has caused this person to think about love. Okay, this is definitely about love. It's about what is most important. Is false pretenses, is false foundations, is falseness, is what it looks like on the outside uh, more important than love? It doesn't look like it anymore. That is the shift. Somebody is beginning to realize what is most important. I know that is what this is. It feels like we have somebody here that has missed an opportunity for love and this person is really now thinking about it quite a bit. may have been in a false partnership, I don't know, and thinking about somebody else. So somebody has been living under false pretenses, and I think it's more ways than one. But this is freedom. So I feel like there's some, and this is freedom as well. Somebody is being broken free from something that was completely false. It wasn't serving their heart. Okay, it wasn't serving their heart. Did you hear me? And the universe works in mysterious ways. So. Ah, seeing the truth. Seeing the truth. So we do have somebody here that is, is coming out of denial. They are now seeing the truth. They have been emotionally guarded. They have been protecting themselves. They've been overly cautious. They've been um, indecisive. But now they see the truth. And they've been overwhelmed with fear. They've been overwhelmed with worry. But they were still trying to build up this false foundation. But now they see. Now the mask has come off. That card just flipped over. So now this person wants happiness. They want growth. They see an opportunity for happiness. And there is an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for a rebirth, for renewal. But this is about being accepted. So we do have a King of Cups that has been guarded. He has been protecting himself. This is somebody who is very, very, has, has, has a new uh, outlook on love. Okay, I know that's what this is. This guy has a new outlook on love. He was emotionally guarded. He was in the past. But now he's starting to open up. He's opening up because something has happened. Something drastic has happened. Now this is about freedom. This is freedom again. We have a lot of freedom here. There's definitely some sort of freedom here. Um, and this is very positive. A very positive change is coming. This is a new beginning as well, a new day. And we do have a new opportunity here. Mm. Oh my God, we really do have a new opportunity. So it looks as though we have somebody here that is very uh, loving. This person is loving. This person is emotionally available. They've been through some sort of situation that uh, was disruptive in their life this disruptive situation has caused them to really think about what love is and what they want in love it's really opened their heart in some way it's changed their heart and now this is a very positive good opportunity somebody is getting a golden opportunity they've manifested something very beautiful this is this is this is huge this is a huge golden opportunity that is coming. It's very positive. Very positive. This is a positive new beginning. It's very, 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 very positive. Okay? Somebody was blocking. 
This is blocking this new beginning. They were blocking this positive golden opportunity. They were blocking success. They were blocking, this is blocking. They were blocking their own happiness by staying in this false sense of security that was, uh, it looked good, but it weren't good. It wasn't. It was. It may have looked good to all the outsiders, but it wasn't on the inside. It looked good on the outside, but not the inside. Now there's a shift. There is an absolute shift. It's very positive. So positive change is coming. This guy is going to, it looks like, he, I mean, he's got an offer right in his hands. He sees an opportunity. He does. For happiness. This is this is something that could lead to this could be very stable, could lead to something very secure. Um Oh, Knight of Wands reverse. The Knight of Wands reverse is somebody that it may be a little fearful though. He may be a little fearful. He may. He may be a little fearful of taking action for some reason. That Knight of Wands, that's somebody who, usually the Knight of Wands just does it. He just takes that leap and he goes. He he does it without thinking. But this Knight of Wands reversed is, uh, he may be a little fearful. Hmm. He may have a bad reputation as well. The king, the Knight of Wands reversed can, can tend to act recklessly. Five of Wands reversed. He may have a bad reputation for playing games in the past. And there's something about being accepted. He may, be, he may not be accepted. Five of Wands. Now, this is playing games. This is a bad reputation of some sort. Somebody may have a bad reputation for being highly competitive. Because these are both highly competitive. There's high, high competitiveness here. Which is interesting. But this Five of Wands is reluctant. Somebody may be reluctant they may be reluctant to take action for fear of rejection or something like there's definitely a little bit of fear here fear of getting involved fear of being rejected but this guy sees a golden opportunity he does he does but i feel like and i i don't know what this is it's like i don't want to play any games I don't, what about the competition? Is the competition too fierce? Maybe fearful of the competition. Don't let fear get in the way. Don't be fearful of the competition. Interesting. Ten of cups reverse. Now, uh, this is a dream, a dashed, a dashed dream. Dreams being dashed. I think it's fearful of rejection. There may have been relationship problems in the past and this guy may be fearful of, he wants to take action, but he's fearful of maybe things repeating. Mm. Ooh, the Empress reversed. Now this Empress reversed is a person that can be smothering. She's smothering. She can be jealous. Uh... selfish this could be an absent mother there could be an absent mother here maybe this person was in a relationship with somebody who didn't take care of them because the empress in reverse is, is a feminine that doesn't take care of them doesn't doesn't love them doesn't doesn't nurture them doesn't take care of them and this is a, a lot, this is not a comfortable relationship either. So I think that we have some, a man or somebody could be a feminine. We do have somebody that is very fearful of taking action because of a previous relationship where they weren't taken care of. They weren't taken care of. 
And so they've been blocking their heart. They've been blocking their heart and they've been holding themselves back from taking action. But it maybe, maybe, maybe it goes all the way back to their own childhood. This guy, maybe he wasn't taken care of by his own freaking mother. His mother didn't take care of him, didn't nurture him. So he's had bad relationship after bad relationship after bad relationship because he doesn't know how to treat women. Anyhow, I feel as, but this is also a person that is um, needy. The Empress in reverse lacks um, self-worth. Okay. She lacks self-worth, perhaps for even this one. This one may not have had a mother, okay? There's there's definitely an absent mother here. There's mother issues, okay? So this one lacks self-worth. So she may block things as well. There's definitely some sort of blocking going on here. Um, blocking growth blocking a rebirth but there's an opportunity there's a golden opportunity to have a new beginning here there absolutely is but we have somebody here that is definitely scared they're definitely scared they're fearful they're fearful of getting into a relationship and not being accepted uh being rejected that's what i feel but i i mean i don't know if it's a relationship it, it could be a partnership it could be a work situation but i feel like this has to do with a relationship Oh, the Queen of so he's looking at the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is is very honest. She's very brash. She's harsh. She's hard to deal with. She wants the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So we have this King of Cups who is looking at the Queen of Swords and she wants the truth and she wants only the truth. She is very intuitive. Okay, she's very intuitive. She sees things clearly. Uh, she's open-minded. And I feel like she's going to be given the opportunity. She's going to have the opportunity. She's going to be given the chance to speak her mind. I think this Queen of Swords is has been hurt. Because the Queen of Swords is usually an independent person who has been hurt very badly. She has. She's been hurt, so she has her guard up. She has a, she's guarding herself, okay? She's guarding herself. So I think, and she is. You can see underneath for the Two of Swords. So we have this, this person that is guarding themselves. She has that sword of truth and communication. She has the power in her hands. Looks like that she may, there may be somebody that is coming. They're coming. And they are going to offer her a, a, an opportunity, an opportunity that is very genuine, very kind, very caring. And she will have the opportunity to, she'll probably question it. She will probably question it. Um, there's definitely some fear here. She may be fearful. I think that they're both fearful. I think I see a lot of fear here. There's definitely a lot of fear. Fear of getting hurt. Fear of of opening up. But I think this is an opportunity to start over. It's an opportunity for a new beginning. I think it could lead to something solid. It could lead to something stable. It's something you have manifested. Somebody has manifested a new start. And I think this is... Um, a new start in love. I really do because that is love. I think that this Queen of Swords is going to have the opportunity to uh, choose something. Okay. So. This person is 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 a professional. Whatever she does, she's professional. She's a communicator. And she likes communication. So she's going to be doing some communicating. She's going to be making a choice. But she has a lot of fear. She has a lot of fear. She has a fear of being hurt. So she is guarded. So we do have somebody here that is guarded. 
but she is going to be getting an opportunity that could make her very, 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 very happy. Good luck.